Welcome back again to Arinka's Kitchen. I have another family favorite recipe that I'd like to share with you and it is called Gypsy Pork Cutlets. Tsigain Pechenya. So what you will need for this recipe is six slices of pork loin boneless center cut chops, six to eight garlic cloves, two tablespoons of vegetable shortening, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, and a quarter, and a quarter teaspoon of vegeta or vegetable base and half a cup of water. So what I did first is I washed and dried the pork chops with um, paper towels and then um, what I'm going to do now is use a meat tenderizer to gently pound each of the pork chops about four times on each side. Now if you have a thicker cut of meat you should um, do more of that, more pounding um, to get the meat thin because that's that's the idea of the recipe is that your meat is thin and and then it's easier it co cooks through easier for you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the um, pork loin cuts that I've chosen and these aren't very thick pieces but um, if you do get thicker pieces then um, you're going to have to do some more um, uh, gentle pounding on the meat to get it thinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take my meat um, board and I'm going to just pound it about four times and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do that with all slice, slices of uh, meat that I have about four times on each side. So I'm going to do that to all my pieces, the six, six slices that I'm going to um, cook you on. And this is just to get the meat thinner so that when you are frying it in the frying pan that um, it will uh, cook through quicker. So going to do all the pieces like that. So this is another family favorite recipe of my grandmother and mother. It was This was like a, a Sunday dinner special treat in my grandmother's home. She'd make this about maybe once every two months. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the uh, pork chops and I've got my uh, food handling gloves on. I'm going to take that over to um, the stove, and I'm going to start start frying. So I've got some uh, vegetable shortening here. And I'm going to put them into the uh, frying pan, and I'm going to fry them. about eight minutes on each side and then I'm going to turn over the pork chops and, and fry them eight, another eight minutes uh, and then I'm going to do um, the seasoning of it and I'm going to add the garlic so you're going to then I'm going to pour the half a cup of water so what I'll do is I will come back and I will show you what the next steps are to in uh, preparing this uh, great dish welcome back again to Rinka's kitchen I have on the stove uh, some pork chops, it's called Gypsy Pork Cutlets, Tsigain Pechenya, and I've used six slices of pork loin boneless center cut ch uh, chops, 
and um, what I did was I washed the pork chops, dried them off with a paper towel, and then I used a meat tenderizer and gently pounded each of the pork chops about four times. Um, the uh, pork, pork chops that I have are are thin, so you don't need to uh, do it that often. So um, if you get a thicker a thicker piece of pork uh, chop, then you need to um, pound it a little bit more, like probably about six to eight times, before you can... Um, get the meat flat. Okay, and then what you do is um, melt the vegetable shortening in a large frying pan and fry the chops. So what I've done is I've fried the chops for eight minutes on each side and then I've sprinkled on top of the pork chops after that. I brought the t temperature down to low uh, temperature and then I added the uh, garlic and then what I'm going to do is now is sprinkle some salt, so a quarter teaspoon of salt on the top of the uh, pork chops and I'm going to do use the quarter teaspoon for both sides of the pork chops. So you're going to turn your pork chop over on, on the other side and do the same. I'm going to um, sprinkle salt and you're going to distribute that quarter teaspoon of salt over the uh, chops. I'm just turning them over and doing the other side with salt. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do the same with the uh, vegeta. So I've got a quarter teaspoon of that. Or you can use your favorite vegetable base and if you don't have either it's fine to uh, leave this uh, seasoning out if you if you choose to do so. Okay and then I'm just turning these around and doing the other side. So I don't put the garlic in uh, right away, the chopped garlic. I uh, wait until it's uh, fried for about at least uh, eight minutes on each side and then I start adding the seasoning to it. And this is Vegeta. Okay, and then I've got brown, fresh, uh, not freshly ground pepper, but black ground pepper and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on each side again. Distributing it, distributing it evenly and turning my pork chops over onto the other side and doing the same thing. So you don't need a whole lot of whole lot of seasoning for this recipe. You can add more if you want. Okay, I'm just going to turn these around the other way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a half a cup of water to the meat. And I'm going to let that cook for about uh, 15 minutes. And I'm going to cover. I'm going to cover the pan and I'm going to slightly un uncover it uh, so that um, a little bit of steam gets in, a little bit of air gets in there to uh, soften the meat. Okay, so I will be back to show you what this great recipe looks like served with uh, rice. Welcome back again to Arinka's Kitchen. I had on the stove some pork chops and I'm going to show you what this great recipe looks like. Gypsy pork cutlets Sigain Pechenya. So here is what um, the pork chops look like. So they've been kind of browned down and then of course I put the garlic um, after I cooked both sides for eight minutes and then I added the uh, garlic. So the garlic became a bit brown too and that just gives it a, a great flavor. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what this great recipe looks like with uh, some rice. So I've got my rice and I'm going to add a 
two slices of the pork chops. And of course you can serve this with uh, one of my uh, salad recipes, like there's the cucumber salad you could serve it with, or the chalamade, which is the mixed pickles uh, recipe. So there are two, two um, salad recipes that you could actually make with this, uh, with this recipe. It was quite common to serve it with cucumbers and uh, slice cucumbers in um, some vinegar and a little bit of salt and paprika on top and then you eat it with the pork so that's that was quite common when my grandmother um, made this recipe or my mother made this recipe to serve it with the cucumber salad so there is a recipe on site if you want to uh, make that with the uh, pork cutlets so um, I hope that you enjoy serving this to your family and friends and I'm going to just before I leave I'm going to show you what this great recipe looks like with rice so this is the pork chops served with rice now you can um, serve it with uh, potatoes if you have any questions or comments please feel free to contact me at irene at arinkaskitchen.com arinkaskitchen.com Dot com. Until next time, bon appetit, yo et vayat.